Welcome to another tutorial for the TI-30X Plus Math Print Calculator. In this session, I'll demonstrate how to calculate a simple probability associated with the normal distribution. A study found that the average resting heart rate of sedentary adults was 80 beats per minute, with a standard deviation of 13.5. Sedentary individuals are classified as healthy if their resting heart rate is between 60 and 100 beats per minute. Outside this range is considered unhealthy. We're asked to find the proportion of this population that is deemed to be having a unhealthy heart rate. Assuming the heart rates are normally distributed, we can use the distributions option on the calculator. Press the second function key, followed by data, to access the Statistics and Distributions menu. Navigate across to Distributions. Select Option 2, Normal Cumulative Density Function. The calculator prompts us for the mean, which was 80, and the standard deviation, 13.5. Now we're prompted to enter the lower bound. I'll set it at 60, followed by the upper bound, 100. Select Calculate, and we see the proportion of the population that is considered healthy, 86.15%. Therefore, the remaining 13.85 of the population are considered unhealthy. Now we have the option to store our result into one of the memory locations, perform another calculation, or simply quit to return to the home screen. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to do the calculation again, but this time directly calculating the unhealthy proportion. So, I'll select Solve again. The mean and standard deviation are the same as before. This time, however, I need to include a lower bound that is a long way away from our mean. Generally speaking, five or six standard deviations from the mean will provide enough accuracy for the values in the tail. So I can type in 80 minus 6 times 13.5, which is the mean, minus six standard deviations. My upper bound this time is 60. I select Calculate. Now we're shown the value in the tail. This time, I will store my answer in X, and then quit. As the conditions for the unhealthy proportion of the population is symmetrical about the mean, I can simply double this proportion in the left tail to get my result. That's all for this tutorial. Check out our other tutorials, including examples on the inverse normal, binomial, and sampling distributions, and much more. Thanks for watching.